This is William F. Stagley coming to you from a hastily constructed facsimile of a radio studio somewhere inside the Technium. From this position floating in the immaterial aether between thought, reality, and that Starbucks they put up outside the dreaming, I shall endeavor to put an intellectual spin to those very things we all hold dear, the stories in film and elsewhere that made us into the furry perverts we are today. Naturally, we shall start where certainly it began for many of you listening, Disney's Robin Hood. As with most of Disney's anthropomorphic films, generations of people have found themselves transfixed by what were, and let's be honest, blatantly sexualized performances animated by people who spent far too much time at the petting zoo. And in none of these films do we have something quite so close to the modern furry subcultural diaspora as in Robin Hood. Granted, there are plenty of more sexual moments from King Arthur's undeniably erotic tryst with a squirrel to the blatant James Bond-like pre- and post-coital scenes in The Lion King. But in Robin Hood, the pretense of a human world is dropped, the clothes are put on, and at one point the background singer lets waft, and I kid thee not, now you're all grown up inside of me into the air as two anthropomorphic foxes saunter off into the bushes with intentions unknown only to children and Mormons. The almost incestuous equivalency between Robin Hood and Maid Marian's character design makes for a charming symmetry, but where Robin is, of course, the fox, a choice referential both to Zorro and earlier to Aesop, Maid Marian is merely a fox, and feminists in search of a role model would do better with Lady Cluck, who could probably put down a Roman legion with the jawbone of an ass. There are other politically interesting aspects of the film, but one which for me stands out in particular is Friar Tuck, who represents everything Christianity has lost as a brand in the last few decades. Friar Tuck stands for charity, universal love, and standing up for what is right in the face of authority. All things about us associated with Christianity and the public consciousness as investment bankers are with professional integrity. All told, Robin Hood is both a time capsule from an earlier time and a blueprint for much of present-day furry fantasy, which downplays differences in size, emphasizes animal facial features, and ignores predator-prey relationships entirely. These and other stylistic choices influence all of us to this day, making Robin Hood an obvious entry point to the furry fandom and a worthy topic for our first video. That's all we've got for tonight, so I'll leave you with an imponderable. Who the hell was Marion's father, anyway? Furry Under Scrutiny with William F. Stagley is made possible by Software from the Blender Foundation An unhealthy fixation with animated films And viewers like you Thank you